What is up ladies and gents, we are back. I'm the Guitarist 562 and I do video game guides and walkthroughs. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys what exactly are the trait conversion stones and how to use them. So you can get these trait conversion stones from the weekly merchant. So I could just do this and boom, I just bought myself a whole stack of 100 and you need about 200 of these to reroll tier 2 weapons. For example, let's say I don't like this uh, specific trait and I don't add, I don't want to spend anything on that one. I could just do this and I have a chance to roll for any of these other ones. Not for these because I already have these. So you have better odds of getting these other ones once you already have them. And it's really good when you already have a trait that you don't want. For example, let's go for the Rex Chimera's bow right here. Um, I don't like undead damage bonus right here. That's just bad. I would rather get hit or I would rather get um, like heavy attack. And these are the odds of getting it. So I have a 40% chance of getting hit, 30% chance of heavy and or max mana. I don't want undead. So I'm going to go ahead and do that so you guys can see it. It cost me 75. I got max mana. That's horrible luck, but that's fine. Um, it's just for the sake of the video to show you guys. Um, now tier one, tier one weapons and accessories and etc. It's a lot cheaper because it's a weapon. It's only 100 versus the tier two is 200. Um, now let's go ahead and take a look at um, what it would cost for like let's say we want to convert this one to something else like a blue piece so when you already have the other item it costs only five but let's say you don't have this it's actually going to cost substantially more if you don't have the actual item itself so let's go here let's say i already have weakened resistance there you go it's actually 20 to reroll to something else when you don't have the other item even though you saw that it was five for everything else that's because you want to convert it to something you already currently own versus um you want to just kind of gamble and see what you have for example now this is a tier two trait conversion it's going to cost me 200. now i'm not going to do that uh, because it just costs too much so it's really good for let's say putting really bad trades on purpose on your tier 2 accessories and then re-rolling it to potentially get something bad prime example let's go ahead and go into my storage this one right here i have buff duration and let's say it's my first thing that i have and you know let's say it's the beginning of the game where all the traits are costing two to three thousand lucent a piece you can re-roll that into something easier so i'm sure that's what's going to come out in ags in the future uh let's say you get i got this item in collision chance those are really really bad trades but you can re-roll it to something nicer so i just so you know that's the best way to get something better that you want and the way to get these conversion stones is not only through the guild merchant you can actually get them from somewhere else too you can get them from mystic keys and i'm gonna go ahead and select the item so you can see for yourself how to acquire you can let's see an adventure right here uh exploration forest of the world tree these are all different ways that you can get it by doing all these different things gathering you can get it from mystic globes lithograph book you can get them from doing uh certain items and guild merchant right here and then do these specific events and their inter server and then you can go ahead and get them as well um, but yeah, hopefully that taught you something about trait conversion stones. I kind of wish they kept the other method, which was using the potions, like right here, precious potion of conversion. Um, it only costed Solent, but you know, I'm just hoping that they bring that back. If they don't, it is what it is. But that's pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you guys learned something and say start stacking and saving on these guild coins because they're extremely important for not only getting, you know, your new dailies that you should be buying every single day, but you get a limit of 100 of these per week. So every two weeks, you can get a reroll chance on a tier two weapon and or accessory. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. And as always, guys, stay blessed.